All right, good morning. We are in Umpqua National Forest on Highway 138. And there are a ton of waterfalls on this highway. There's probably like 30 or 40. And I'm gonna go through the highway and see how many I can get to in a day. And right now we're starting off on uh, Shadow Falls, which is a one mile trail to a big waterfall. And we're gonna go from there. All the waterfall hikes in this video are about one to two mile round trip. I decided to fast forward these parts because I'm fitting seven waterfalls into one video. This was at about 5.30 in the morning, and I had just woken up. I had slept at the Shadow Falls trailhead, so I could get an early start on the day. I really like how the pictures came out from Shadow Falls. It's a very cool looking, secluded, and unique waterfall. The early morning lighting brought some good shadows and colors. On the way back, I took a little side trail to see from the top of the waterfall. It was kind of a tough little climb. After getting all the pictures and video I thought I needed, it was time to move on and go to the next waterfall. Shadow Falls was definitely out of the way compared to all the other waterfalls. I wanted to get at least one secluded waterfall before heading to the highway and hitting all the more popular ones. Here's a look at the map of the waterfalls for today. Starting at Shadow Falls, I headed down a gravel road to get to Wolf Creek Falls. Wolf Creek Falls I saw only a couple people, and it seemed each waterfall I went to throughout the day, it got more crowded. Wolf Creek Falls was really tall and it also had this cool curve to it towards the bottom that made it pretty unique. On the way back I found another side trail that went to the lower Wolf Creek Falls. Most of these side trails I went on are pretty steep and I wouldn't recommend them unless you have a lot of experience. After Wolf Creek Falls, it was time to head to Hemlock Falls. This was a gravel forest service road that would eventually meet up with Highway 138. There's a trail from a campground that heads right down to Hemlock Falls. This is another waterfall that I got to enjoy by myself.
I probably spent a little more time here than I should have because I kept going around looking for rocks, taking pictures, stuff like that, and not thinking about how many waterfalls I was going to be visiting on this day. After checking out Hemlock Falls, I headed back to the campground to go to the next waterfall. This was the longest stretch of the drive because there was a lot of turns on a gravel road to get back to the highway. The next stop was Tokati Falls. Tokiji Falls is one of the more well-known stops and it's going to be way more crowded than the others. Even though it's crowded, it's definitely one of the cooler looking waterfalls. There's one viewpoint that everyone goes to at the end of the trail. From Tokati Falls, it's a quick drive over to the next most popular waterfall, which is Watson Falls. Like most of these waterfalls, they're all something like a mile hike. Watson Falls is definitely the largest and most impressive of the waterfalls. It has a big open valley in front of the waterfall. There was a little side trail where you could get down to the base of the waterfall. Most people weren't taking it because it got you so wet. I was definitely soaked after hanging out at the bottom of the waterfall. The hike back was a good chance to dry off. It was tempting to spend more time here, but I had to go to get to more waterfalls. Next stop on Highway 138 was Whitehorse Falls. This waterfall is a lot closer to the car than all the others. It's another good viewing area to hang out at. Unfortunately, there were a ton of mosquitoes this time of year. Whitehorse is a shorter waterfall and a little less impressive than the others. It still is unique and I thought it was a fun place to hang out at. After all the waterfall hikes, I did use this pool to get in the water a little bit. This was the sixth waterfall stop of the day, and I was getting a little tired. It was nice to get in the water and cool off for a bit. Another quick drive on Highway 138 was from Whitehorse to Clearwater Falls.
rather than one big waterfall. Clear water was more of a bunch of little waterfalls put together. At Clearwater, I was just getting eaten alive by mosquitoes and I didn't have too much time to spend there, otherwise I would be covered in bites. At this point, I had seen seven waterfalls. I was getting pretty exhausted and it was about time for dinner. I decided to head home from here. That was a lot of fun trying to put together so many waterfalls in one day. It was a really good adventure and I'm glad I tried it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.